Okay, creating WebXR boxes walls from scratch. There are three things you're gonna need. The first is a text editor. You can use whatever is the one you like. I'm just using Visual Studio Code here. You're gonna need Node.js, which you can just download it from the web page or your package manager or whatever. And then the blocks editor examples repository which you can download from my github once you have downloaded this repository to your computer the next thing you probably want to do is to create some geometry so for that we're going to click this handy link to open the blocks editor it's going to maximize it and then you have many ways to create in your geometry you can just go and click and add it one by one but in this case, to be faster, I'm just going to be using the scripting functionality and I'm just going to be painting a box on the minus 16 through minus 16 and it's going to be 32 by 1 by 32 with the first block type just to have a small ground so we can start putting things on Okay, so once you have your wall and your geometry, how you actually make it run on the engine so it shows up on VR. First thing you need to do is to actually create a new wall. So what we're gonna do is just go to the walls folder on the blocks editor examples repository you just downloaded and create a new wall. It's gonna call it test. And what I usually like to do is just open one of the other walls, like example this one, just to have something to copy from as a template. Let's see, we're gonna need the elevator wall class, which is the base class which all the walls stem from. In this case, we're gonna call this wall test, and we're gonna export it. This obviously needs a constructor, so I'm just going to be copying quickly this one. And the elevator wall, what it is, is the position and the rotation where you want the elevator to appear. But for now, since we don't know, we're just going to put it on the zero, 0. And the last thing we are going to need to do is to load our geometry, which by the way, we haven't exported yet. And in order to do that, the only thing you need to do is click this button. Pro tip, by the way, if on your Chrome settings you toggle this setting of asking where to save each file before downloading, when you click the export button model, it will remember which folder you exported last. This would be really useful if you are doing this over and over again. And we're just going to save it as test on the models folder. And since we're at it, I also gonna save the model definition just to be safe. Let's test two. If you reload or come back again to the editor, so you are able to reload your model and keep working on it and stuff. Okay, so once you exported the model, you need to load it, of course. And uh, I forgot to import these two classes that are needed ruler and vector tree Good. okay loading the model so we're just gonna get the model loader from the screen let's call it and the url of the model test.gov this returns a promise with the model. It's going to scale it a little bit. I have something. And add it to the steam. And that's it. Then the last thing we need to do is go to the index of the walls which is what the train and all the other stuff uses to know which loads which walls to load and export the 
here, way here, test, run test. Boom. And finally, you just download this repository. You probably need to install the dependencies with npm. And just run npm start. This will start the server. And you can go on your browser. And if you want to wait or have a chance that your station shows up, you can wait here and you can just push the router. In this case, it's a testing called test. And one thing I forgot is opening the elevator because the way this works is it loads you with the elevator closer so then you can do all you need to do to load your steam or whatever and once you are finished self-loading and are ready to sell the user the steam then you just call to this elevator is open true then and there you go this is steam the elevator is not really positioned too well right at the moment but we can easily fix that just by moving it something like eight to the back I don't know, backwards, A. There you go. Uh, one thing I usually do in order to enclose the elevator is just do a small wall. Like, for example, right here. some holes in the wall and this is something around here default Ooh, mailer and need to position this one a little bit to the back Twenty-five. There you go. Seamless. And then you can keep just doing updates to it, and creating new blocks. Plants, alien plants, or whatever. And I think this is it for the first video. Next one, we will see how to connect it back to the train and add some physics and use the light map feature on future videos too. Alrighty, so that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.